Hey y'all, it's Nicole again. I am going to be filming my first ever book haul. I have somehow amassed quite a few books in the past couple of weeks, uh, so I decided that I would show them off to all of you. So I'm going to kind of go in order, but uh, I also don't remember it that much. So the first book is The Drum Tower by Farnoosh Moshiri. And this one I talked about in um, my Diversathon readathon. I am already about 150 pages in. It is a very intense and depressing book, but it's very beautifully written. And it's about this young girl and growing up in Iran during the like right before the revolution. And her family used to be very powerful and rich and the monarchy was in power, but now um, as things are being shifted around, her family's being shifted as well. And her grandfather was writing this book about the the phoenix of Iran culture, uh, the Samorg and he was writing about it in all the other cultures, so it's kind of interspersed with that myth and her growing up. The next book is one that I actually got through my school. They do this thing where uh, all the uh, incoming students all read one book together and then they come together for a discussion and I volunteered to uh, kind of lead one of the discussions for the commuting students and uh, my book is Between the World and Me by Ta-Nehisi Coates. Um, this was a very interesting book. I actually like read most of it in the car um, as I was driving home to visit my family. But it is basically a letter written um, from Ta-Nehisi Coates, who is a, um, a journalist. He writes for The Atlantic. And it's written to his 15-year-old son. And it's just about his life and the struggles he faces as a black man in America and um, things he hopes his son can learn from his experiences. Uh, it was very good. I wish people had read the book because I didn't really get to discuss it that much. Next I have three books that I got all together. I went into Half Price Books to buy my friend a birthday present and uh, came out with three books for myself as well, which always happens. The first one is Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a really long time. I've never read anything by Yoshimoto, um, but Kitchen always seemed so powerful and interesting, and I know she has very unique writing, um, so I'm excited about this one. And uh, I don't know that much about it, I just know it's about um, a woman in Japan in like the 80s, I think, kind of combating gender roles and expectations. And the next one is this one. I just kind of picked up randomly, uh, and it's an Armenian sketchbook by Vasily Grossman. The neighborhood I live in has a lot of Armenians, and I'm very fascinated with their history and their culture, so I wanted to get uh, a book to kind of learn more about them. This is actually written by Vasily Grossman, who's r Russian, um, and towards the end of his life and his career, uh, he went to Armenia to translate this Armenian book. Uh, which he didn't really care that much about, and so he just ended up writing kind of a journal of his time in Armenia. And yeah, it sounded really cool. And I've always wanted to read something by Grossman. And the next book I have is one that I'm very excited about. That is Octavia Butler's Lilith's Brood. So I just read Parable of the Talents, which is the second book. Um, I don't remember what the series is called, but uh, the first one's Parable of the Sour and um, that's one of Octavia Butler's series and she's an amazing writer and I love her so much and this one is three books in one and it was five dollars and it is about this woman who is mourning her family's death on the top of a mountain when suddenly the, um, the world ends there's a war and it destroys the earth and then she wakes up centuries later and these aliens have taken over the earth and want to uh, use human to to breed, like interbreed with the aliens. So it sounds very good. <laughs> and the next two books are um, ones that I picked up during that uh, discussion for Between the World and Me. And uh, these are just past books that they've done for that program, and they're giving them away for free to the uh, ambassadors. Uh, I don't know pretty much anything about them. <laughs> 
but except for the uh, description that I read in the back when I got them. So the first one is the Flamingo Rising by uh, Larry Baker. And um, this is about a man in the 60s, I believe, uh, whose family owns a drive-in movie theater. And so he kind of grew up in the movie theater. And I think it's about that, about him growing up, and just about his family. It's like a 4th of July, like, summer American story. And the next one I have is Pedro and Me, which is actually a graphic novel by Judd Winnick. I don't know much about this one. I believe it is about AIDS and two friends dealing with that, possibly in the 90s. Um, it, uh, it's the guy who did, like, MTV's Real World, so... Then I have uh, a few more comics. I I do read like a few comics. Um, all of them are, like on hiatus right now. But Brian K. Vaughan is on top of his shit. So there is two new Paper Girls, the uh, Paper Girls Seven and Paper Girls Eight. This is a series about uh, five Paper Girls who drop papers off on doorsteps in the eighties, I believe. And I don't want to give away too much. Um, it's not too far into the series, but so far it's very good. And there's some futuristic, spooky stuff going on. And the next one is, of course, Brian K. Vaughan's Saga, which is one of the best uh, comic book series out right now. This is chapter 37, uh, and it has a really great cover. It's like a beautiful war scene. Yeah. And the next one I have is one more graphic novel. This is Moon Cop by Tom Gold. Um, I talked about the comics experience graphic novel of the Monk Club, and this is this uh, the pick for this month. Don't know much about it. I think it's about a moon cop. The last thing I have is something pretty exciting. I had my first uh, book subscription box that uh, it arrived like when I was on vacation and I was really worried it was going to get stolen off my doorstep, but it didn't. Uh, I already opened it up because I can't wait. Uh, but I'll show you what's inside it. And it was uh, for Muse Monthly. So the book this month is The Gentleman by Forrest Lee. And it's a beautiful cover. And um, it's about this guy who marries this woman for money and accidentally sells her soul to the devil. And she has to try to get her back from hell. Which sounds really fun. This monthly is a subscription box that comes with one book and a box of tea that kind of goes along with the story. And so, the tea that came with this one is some chai tea, which chai tea is one of my favorite, and I can always use some more. So thanks around, thanks for sticking around for my first uh, book haul. I had a surprisingly large amount of books that just kind of piled up. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you soon with another video.